Hey everybody, uh, just an update on the electronics here. Um, the workbench is pretty cluttered with experiments and projects. There's a lot going on in this place. Right now, I am working on something I promised you a while ago. These are relatively expensive, this Bedini, Bedini style um, thing. So I'm putting that on the side burner. And what I'm doing instead is I am, um, <laughs> this is purely scraps, so don't, uh, don't get confused, but I am experimentally setting up a battery desulfating device on my bench. This is a battery that was at um, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 volts. And, I mean, it was dead, dead, dead. That was been sitting around for years unused. This is actually, some people might know what that is at first glance, if you've ever taken apart motors. That comes from a um, circular saw, an old aluminum circular saw that I dissected to melt down. And the coils are great for experimenting. So all I'm using is just one coil, just for the purpose of pulsing it. I've got a old um, transistor here. Some of you know what I'm talking about. Those who don't, don't worry about it. I'm just telling you some updates of what's going on on the bench. But I've got an old transistor here to pulse the coil on and off. And I've got a um, commercially available timer circuit. So it's an adjustable timer. Instead of me building a circuit board, which is quite complex, I uh, just grab that off the shelf. So I've got a timer which is adjustable, which is convenient for my experiments, um, which is pulsing a transistor, which is turning on and off a coil. All right, it pulses to a coil. And then the flyback voltage, which is when you, um, when you connect a battery to a coil, it charges. As soon as you disconnect it, there's a high voltage spike. And I'm routing that to the battery. And that is where the magic happens. The high voltage spikes coming from the coil, from the collapsing field of the coil, are routed to the battery, breaking up the lead sulfate crystals, I hope I'm saying that right, on the battery plates. And converting them back into the proper chemistry, hopefully, so the battery will, will become usable again. We are currently at 1.075 so just about a volt so we've already charged it some and I'll get to a minute here why this this circuit is unique from anything of else I've done because it's sort of the opposite in a way and here is a waveform I'm actually this is where it starts to get opposite of what I usually want to do I am setting this up this is called your duty cycle your on time and your off time and I want to adjust this, in this case, so that there is some current going to the battery, which is quite the opposite of what I generally do in my projects. On my Bedini motors, which at this time is currently shut off, I'm on a discharge cycle and a battery, on the Bedini motor, I want to get the fastest cycle time, rotating time, if that tells you anything. The, uh, I want to have the fastest um, speed here with the shortest possible pulses, which would be your on time, the shortest possible on time, with the longest off time, and the least amount of current drawn, in this case, with the standard Bedini motor. Um, but in this case, I'm usually trying to adjust to get you know low, low current drain coming in in maximum uh, energy going to the battery but you know that's just what that's about and this here though in this case I do want a little bit of current going into the battery so um, it's a unique setup for me but I want to have the pulses going in here snap 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 breaking up the crystals on the plates on the battery plates but also I want to send some normal actual current in to help charge it at the same time. Otherwise, this would take eternity. As it is, it's going to be quite slow. 
um, but that's you know desulfating a battery is not a quick thing now right now I want you to see something I'm gonna rotate the uh, dial here I'm trying to think of a, a simple word I'm gonna rotate the dial here and I'm gonna have you watch the oscilloscope here and the voltage on the battery down here and we're gonna see something really cool here keep an eye on the current too it's using 30 milliamps 0 0.03 amps the battery is at 10.98 volts let me see if I can get that more visible this is gonna change dramatically in a minute here if I can get that to be more visible right there that's gonna change dramatically well the um, frequency changes and the current might change as well I don't know if you can see us on camera it's at 1.27 kilohertz so it's cycling at um, 1270 times a second that's how many times this is pulsing and I'm about to change that right here this is gonna really change hopefully I got the right one and oh yeah look at that voltage on the battery go up I'm turning the speed of the frequency higher 1.33 kilohertz so 1330 times a second the battery voltage is going up which is good that's what we want and the, vo the current being used has not changed yet so we're getting much 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 more charging very nice now we're at 1.46 kilohertz and the battery charging is going up exponentially I like that so what I'm doing and this all takes a lot of time I turn it again 1.58 and the charge just keeps going up we're not using any more current and that's good so I want maximum charging a little bit of current and find out what's the best frequency and I just gotta keep adjusting and looking and adjusting and looking back and forth round and round and round and uh, until I get the best settings and what all of this is about is I have to figure out what's the best coil what's the best components what's the best uh, pulse type I have to pulse it with something all right I have to have the best uh, transistor for it there's different types of coils and combinations I've got to figure out I've got to figure out what's the best frequency to get and what's the best current to get the best charging and the most desulfation on a battery that is a lot to do and that's why I haven't been making too many videos recently because everything on the bench takes a lot of time a lot and I didn't want to bore you with repetitive videos of the same stuff again and again and again and again and today I wanted to share with you this aspect and this part of the experiments which I hope to get done soon and when I figure out the best of everything then I'm gonna be making this type of thing for sale with new parts nicer looking and uh, nicely packaged for you I know a lot of people said they wanted a battery desulfating device a battery restorer and uh, so I'm really gonna make this a top priority now for you all uh, my shoulders are shot I'm not doing firewood and uh, so I'm doing other things for income at this time just wanted to let you know that on the side all right how's this for weird check the voltmeter 5.22 watch this that's so weird just me putting my hand inside the coil reduces the charging of that look at that it drops the voltage that's just so weird just me putting my hand inside reduces the charge rate wow that's weird does it affect the current wow I just wanted to share that well guys this is gonna take a long time but we've already got the battery up to 5.44 volts 
And uh, that's definitely an improvement from before. Of course, that's under charge. If I disconnect, it drops down some more. But that's what desulfation does. Anyway, I want to conclude this video and continue working with different electronics. I just wanted to share with you some updates that I still am working on this. I am working on a commercial product for sale, which is going to very much beat out um, the stuff that is available on the market today, which I will also show you. I have ordered a commercially available device to do a side-by-side -side comparison with once I get the right combination and show you the huge difference in between what I'm building and what's available on the market and how my design is definitely going to restore batteries better faster and including batteries that have no charge in them at all from the beginning all the commercial devices require that the battery has usable energy in it and enough voltage for it to draw from the battery it runs off the battery it's charging which is basically useless if your battery is at 0 0.5 volts or so anyway please like this video subscribe if you haven't i have a lot of updates to come and i'm going to get into some really cool homesteading videos as well moving forward with the economy the way it is i'm getting back to basics again uh, to save money so stay tuned for all that